Most colleges and universities have switched to online learning for now. But that doesn't work when it comes to nursing programs. Those students have to complete training. They can't do it on a computer. Augusta Tech found a way to keep the students on track to graduate, though. As News Channel 6's Brendan Robertson shows us. Nurses are on the front line fighting the current pandemic, but what about the next class of nurses waiting to graduate? They need lab work, hands-on training, things that can't be done online. Here at Augusta Tech, they're finding creative ways to get them graduated and into the workforce. So through scheduling, we have been able to meet the lab's competencies for our students. We have Dr. Gwen Taylor, the dean of the Allied Health Sciences and Nursing School at Augusta Tech, got creative with her staff. And through rotating schedules, students have been able to get in classrooms and labs and complete what they need to graduate on time. We will have one class on the first floor, one on the second floor. Then we have the occupational therapy and the pharmacy students located in the 1400 building. They are scheduled on different days. And then we have diagnostic medical sonography students uh, in the emergency services building. The school submitted a limited lab proposal to the state that was approved so clinicals and coursework could continue. We presented those proposals for the spring lab and they were approved and we will do the same thing for the summer semester. And the students have responded to the adjustments to make sure they graduate on time. Augusta Tech averages about 25 registered nursing graduates each semester. Well, the students, they've been eager to complete their program, and actually they were just like, uh, when can we do our labs, when can we get done? And as you could see from the students you met upstairs, um, they've been excited. They know things are different, but this is what they signed up for. And here at Augusta Tech, they will continue to use the program that they've come up with to get nurses graduated as long as they have to until things get back to normal. In Augusta, Brennan Robertson, WJBF News Channel 6.